Hello my creative peeps and welcome back to my channel for another video. Today I'm sharing a custom journal with you that I've been working on for the past three weeks or so. This is a custom journal for Jennifer. She waited so patiently um, and her name finally came up on the list and I was so happy to create this journal for her. Now, she gave me complete creative freedom. She just said she wanted all the bells and whistles and I was to just do my thing. So, I hope you like this, Jennifer. Um, if you don't, let me know and we'll work something out. But I really hope that you do because I really like it. So, I have made this charm here on the front. It is a mermaid themed journal. Let's, let's be in frame. So there's the mermaid tail and some various beads and the sand dollar charm. And it is a clipped on here to the um, closure. So if she didn't like it there, she could find a way to put it on the spine here. Or she could take it off and put it on her key ring or something like that. Um, but I think it's really cute. So I have this collage here that I made on the front with the netting um, which I think is really cool. There is this awesome ribbon closure with the iridescent type thing in here. This was called, uh, the book that I used was called Indian Journey and I felt like it was just very, it was an Indian themed journal but it was very oceanic I felt. So, um, yeah, I put a pocket in the front here. I have now gotten into sewing, so there is a little bit of sewing in this journal. Hopefully that's okay. <laughs> um, so I just have a pocket here that I've collaged some mermaid things on, and then I have one of the library cards from my printables tucked in there so she can do whatever she wants with that. There are some mermaid collage papers in here that I've tea dyed. There is Midori MD paper, Tomoe River paper, ledger paper, scrapbook paper, tea dyed digital scrapbook paper. Pretty much everything I usually use. There's vintage typography paper. There's vellum. It's literally just, it's everything. It's all the bells and whistles. So this book has 80 pages, 160 sides, 12 pockets, not including the front and back pocket, four pocket pages, which also aren't included in that tally, and two tuck spots. So I haven't really clipped any ephemera in. I just absolutely stuffed all the pockets, basically, because um, there are a lot of them. But I thought it was cool because... Sometimes it's hard to tell like where the writing space is when it's all paper clipped in together. And it's fun to pull it all out and explore it, I think. So I think I'm going to do this more in my journals. There are a thing of tabs in here for her to use. Here are some of the pocket pages she can put photos in. Here is the vintage typography paper that I have made the pocket with. Tomoe River paper, ND paper, more pockets, and I did have this, um, it's like a ephemera printable that I got with the digital mermaid kit that I used in this. I will leave it linked below. I can't remember who it's by and I don't want to say the wrong person. So this is a pocket here full of stuff and then I have sewn the pocket onto one of the original book pages from the book which creates an extra tuck spot behind there. So I thought that was really fun. This is Midori MD lined paper so this will take water. Um, that's why I love the, the Midori MD paper. In here there's a little tuck spot that I've sewn around with some elements and then I made a little mini book for her like I made in um, one of my pirate journal inserts that I'm working on because um, I thought that was really fun. So put that in there for her. More envelopes. These are some of the journal prompt cards that I like to stick in. More pockets on the original book pages. I love this piece of paper. It looks like water. A little tuck spot. 
This is the uh, inside paper, so they were the end papers um, from here. So I just put made a pocket on some vintage ledger. And if, um, if she doesn't like the tails, I left the strings pretty long like for the binding and then on all the um, pockets and stuff, but if she doesn't like them, she can just cut them off. This is a real vintage envelope, which I again made into like a double pocket. Having a lot of fun with the pockets, as you can tell. <laughs> there we go. I put a little J um, card in here for Jennifer. Vintage Ledger. This is Midori 003 paper. So this was a really fun journal to make. Um, and I really hope that she enjoys it and enjoys working in it. This is a piece of mermaid vellum, which I think is super cool. Love that a lot. And I like, so I layered the pages like this so that you could see the vellum like from the different pages. Like here's the photos, here's a page, and you can still see the vellum peeking out. I hope that made sense, um, but I thought that was cool. So more pocket pages. And then this is the last signature. There we go. Pockets. Lots of writing space. And then here in the back is one of my expandable pockets. And it's made with the end papers to match up. So it's like a hidden pocket, but it's not really hidden, obviously. And then this um, is the actual back original cover, which I thought was really cool. So, yeah, this is the custom journal that I made for Jennifer. So I hope you like it. <laughs> Um, I like it a lot, but she did give me free reign, so she knew what she was getting into. Um, <laughs> but anyway, I'm still working through quite a waiting list, um, of custom orders. So thank you for everyone that has requested one, um, and is being so patient, um, because they do take me a long time to create, uh, especially when they are custom and loaded, um, I will be doing an Etsy release soon, hopefully. I don't have any journals made for it yet, but I am working on ephemera packs and other cool stuff um, that's going to go along with that. So hopefully you guys are excited for that, but that probably won't be until um, the beginning of July or so, just because I'm so, so busy with work and all kinds of other things. But again, I hope you enjoyed this and found this inspirational give me a thumbs up if you did subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos and hit the notification bell so you get notified and i'll catch you in my next one take care guys bye bye